This, my friends, is probably going to set my house on fire. Hey, this is Ben, and uh, I wanted to introduce you to a little project that I just started. Uh, this is called PyKiln. It's an open sourced, web based uh, kiln controller that runs on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I have a link to the GitHub in the description. I would really love some uh, collaborators and feedback on this project. So, the reason why I decided to make this uh, open source project is one, uh, I have a kiln and a foundry, and I do lost wax casting, and I have, I already have a kiln, but it has a really crappy controller on it. Um, it's one of these uh, Bartlett three key ones. Uh, and I I wanted to make another kiln that's larger that could handle um, bigger, bigger ceramic jobs. And also uh, I don't want to ruin the kiln that I have. I bought the kiln that I have. And so I kind of want to make like one that I can use uh, for more controlled uh, lost wax burnout cycles. Um, so there's a lot of kiln controllers that are out there, but they all pretty much suck. The only one that kind of is sort of user-friendly is this uh, Scut Touch Controller one. Um, but most of them just have like a bunch of buttons uh, or only a few buttons and like a tiny LCD screen. And uh, it's, it's a pain in the ass to like program one of these things to do a certain firing schedule. Um, and it's, it's kind of hard to get like diagnostics information out of it. You know, you don't know how well the firing schedule went. Um, it's, it's hard. So I built this, uh, it's still a work in progress. I'd say I'm probably like, I don't know, 65, 70% done. Um, with it, uh, this is like the home screen where you would select between your different firing schedules. Uh, and then um, it would display, you know, the the rate or the segment, the rate, the target time, and the hold time. So, uh, you know, what temperature you're trying to get to, how fast you should get there. Once you get there, how long do you stay at that temperature? Uh, and so, when you click start, and and it tells you the current temperature of the oven. This is just being, it's a random number right now. But once I have a temperature pro poked up, it'll work. Um, it'll have an estimated time. This is really crudely estimated right now. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to have to build like a calibration, uh, into it to see like how quickly your kiln can raise in temperature and also how quickly it can, uh, lower in temperature and use that to create a better estimate. And, uh, along with that, um, estimated cost, uh, that needs to be calibrated as well. So the process would be is you would select your firing schedule, um, make sure everything checks out, click start. Are you sure you want to start? Yes. And then it starts firing. Uh, it tells you how much time is remaining, the current temperature, uh, and this progress bar would fill in. And then when you're done, uh, and then at the bottom, it would say the current status. So it would say, okay, like this is the current temperature of the oven. This is the time that it started. This is the uh, schedule that you just um, started and uh, the current status, so it's firing. And then when you want it to stop, you'd hit stop. So then um, if you wanted to build your own schedules, this is where you would do it. So it would be an edit firing schedules. So you can select from the existing ones or you can make a new one, so new untitled schedule. Uh, let's see here. What should we call this? I don't know. Celadon blue. I think that's how you spell Celadon. And then uh, you can add stages, uh, and the estimated time and cost would go up. Um, you can edit the values. So if you want to change this to like 400 and change this to like 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, all good. We can delete segments. Um, we can save our changes. Um, if you don't know 
what temperature it should be. Uh, you can click on the cone chart and that will tell you just quick little reference of like what temperature for which cone. Um, so I just saved it. Uh, I'm just going to save it again for the helvet. You can select different temperatures you, or schedules. You can export your schedule. So here's that schedule I just made. So I can right-click save. Uh, blue. And uh, then I can import in schedule. So here's that blue one. So I'll import that. So now I've got two Celadon blues, and I can name that one too. Save. And I'll give it a different max temp. Okay, save that. So now if I switch between the two of them, you can see, boom, boom. That works. You can delete schedules. So I'll delete it. Now it's gone. So it's definitely a lot easier to program one of these than it is to program one of these guys uh, with the added benefit of you can duplicate and import and export your schedules so you could even share these online. I'm planning on building in like a handful of preset ones, but um, this is gonna take, I think, a lot of tweaking for people to get it to work with whatever their kiln is. Um, but it's super easy to do, so that's cool. And then the logging section will have the most recent firing. Uh, this isn't being populated with actual data yet. So um, it's kind of like placeholder data. But this would have um, the dash line, the blue one, is what the firing schedule says the temperature should be. And then the red line is what the actual temperature was. So that will track that over time. This page will also show you just like fun statistics of like how many fires you've done, uh, the total time your kiln has spent firing things, and uh, the total cost that you've spent um, firing your kiln. And then uh, last but not least is the settings section. So in the settings, uh, you can specify your time zone, you can do Celsius or Fahrenheit, uh, you can set a, a max temperature uh, for your kiln. So if it exceeds this, like just shut it off, stop. Um, your kiln voltage, so that's used uh, with the cost estimates, uh, as well as the electricity cost per kilowatt. So uh, in Cleveland, where I am, uh, it's 14 cents per kilowatt. So that's what I, I have. And then uh, this is really cool. Uh, you can set up uh, email notifications. So you know when your kiln has finished firing, it'll send you a notification saying like, hey, like we finished your bis bisque fire or whatever. Um, so you can enable that or disable that. And right now it's only integrated with Gmail. That might change later uh, to be integrated with other things, but just create a new Gmail account. There's a uh, instructions here on how to enable less secure login and disable reCAPTCHA. That way it's easy for Python to actually access your Gmail and send G uh, send emails. And then uh, the receiver email address would go in here. All right, so that was the software side. The hardware side, what I'm planning on doing is using two solid state relays and putting them in series, and then also using a current sensor. Um, so what will happen is before you do a firing, uh, it will go through a little mini diagnostics and it'll check each relay to see, you know, is it working? Because solid state relays can actually uh, fail in the closed state and that's really bad. So uh, by having two of them in series um, and using the current sensor, we can detect to see if one of them is bad or not. And if one of them is bad, it's not gonna let you fire the, the kiln. Um, it's gonna throw a warning or, or an error and it's gonna say like, hey, when your relays is bad, please replace it. Um, just so that we don't ever get to the point where you have a runaway kiln. Safety is a number one priority on this project. Uh, I do not wanna set my own house on fire and I don't want anyone who decides like, hey, this is a good project, like I'm gonna make one of these. I don't want their house to catch on fire either. Um, 
that said, if you try to do this, like do it at your own risk. Um, this is all beta software. Like I just started making it a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's not in a usable point at this point. Like uh, right now I'm really just looking for feedback and if anyone else wants to help contribute to the project, that would be amazing. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna have a lot of cool content coming up in the future. Uh, I'm gonna make a kiln from scratch. Uh, right now I'm playing around with making my own fire brick. I'm gonna do a few small tests. Um, I'm making the coils. Uh, I'm, I'm building the entire thing from scratch and I'm gonna show you guys the whole process. Hopefully, um, hopefully I don't kill myself and hopefully uh, the, my house doesn't catch on fire. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, give me some feedback. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me, uh, tell me what I'm missing from the project. Uh, what am I overlooking? What, what could make this a truly great kiln controller? Um, all right, this is Ben signing off.